Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to walk you through how to validate what backups are on your computer for both Windows and a Mac. We're going to start with the Mac. So if you've been backing up to iTunes on your computer, your device, not iCloud, but iTunes, this is how you validate what backups you have. You first open up iTunes, go to the iTunes link up here, choose Preferences, and you can see if, the, if it's on general, I want you to click devices here. It'll be a devices. These are all the different backups that you have and what dates they were on. So if you were going to restore your device, which I have in another tutorial video, you know that you have backups that are on these dates. Okay, because you may need to choose a backup that predated uh, your issues if you're doing a device backup. And if unfortunately, you didn't back up your app data out of Posture Screen. Remember, there's a couple different ways. This is only one method that backs up your whole device. However, if something goes wrong with this, you don't have any app data backup, so you should always not rely on just one backup method. You should always do the iTunes or iCloud backup method as well as the app data backup, which I painstakingly wrote a, uh, steps on, and there's a backup button in the app as well too outlining that and there's a lot of help support videos and even a link on our help support page called Backup 101 that explains a lot of things. With that being said, this is all the devices that I have backed up to my Mac side. Okay, I'm going to drag over Windows because I'm running it, uh, Windows on this computer also. And if you will, if I look at Windows here, so let me just make this a little bigger for you. Looking at Windows, very similar. I go to file and what we're going to do here differently is we are going to look for excuse me we're going to go in here and we are going to we are going to come up to this little hidden button here you see this up here click that and you're going to go to preferences and in preferences you're going to hit devices and as you can see, I have no device backups to the Windows iTunes. Okay, so if you don't have any backups to Windows iTunes, where are they? Did you back up any time? So if that's the case, one of the things that you can do is you can look for iCloud backups, at least knowing what the last iCloud backup was. Um, you won't be able to see a list of all your iCloud backups until you go to restore your device, which is... Apple is aware of that issue. I was just on the phone with tech support with them saying that that's kind of a dumb idea. But nonetheless, it's the way that Apple does it right now, unfortunately. So, which means you have to wipe out your device to restore it to choose an uh, earlier backup and hope to God you have an earlier backup. Otherwise, you're restoring possibly a backup that has corrupted data, which is the problem anyway. Which wouldn't be a problem if the app data was backed up because you could easily restore it that way. But I digress. If I go back to um, my iCloud backup here, or my iTunes, I'm going to hook up a device so you can see. Now when I hook up a device, I'm going to hook up my iPhone. When you hook up a, a device, it may ask you, um, it's going to ask you on um, the device, do you, it may pop up other windows, maybe Dropbox or iPhoto, okay? So give me one second, I'm going to go ahead and connect. And I'm going to show you on the Mac side because that's what I sync to. So if you will, hold on one second while I pause this. So as you can see, iPhoto opened up. I'm going to close that down. A new button opens up, up here. Notice it says iPhone. I click on iPhone. Now, if I go into the iPhone, under summary right up here, it says iCloud. And I can see the last backup to iCloud right here. So at least we know that we have one solid backup on that if I have to restore the device. And I have other videos on how to restore your device, should you have to do that for whatever reason. And hopefully this tutorial has been helpful, okay? But at least on iTunes, if you've been backing up to iTunes, you can see various backups that exist for various devices, okay? Hopefully that helps. Any other questions, email us at info at Thank you.